Hello YouTube, this is Josh from the Paint Tech Brothers and I am back today with a quick how-to on getting a PlayStation 2 emulator, specifically PCSX2, up and running on your computer. Now, I have been doing a little messing around with emulators uh, with the Raspberry Pi, uh, running the Retro Pi, and I wanted to see if I couldn't play a little bit newer console on my computer, and so PlayStation 2 seemed kind of the newest that had a decent emulator out and running. And so where I'm at right now is PCSX2.net, and you can get the different version of your OS uh, download from here. You will also need a BIOS image from a PS2, uh, whether you own one or can borrow one to get a backup of that BIOS image. There's also other means to do that as well, but uh, cannot uh, go into that for legal reasons, obviously. And then you'll need a, a ROM file of a backup of a PS2 game or the PS2 disc itself. So once you've installed it, you will have something that looks like this. When you launch it, you also before that you will get into uh, some configuration for the plugins. That will be the first thing you are presented with, and uh, basically all the ones that come with it are kind of the default ones that I use and seem to work. And then the next screen will be your bio selection screen. So by default, it uses uh, a folder in your uh, My Documents directory. You can change that and just browse to your specific um, uh, folder where your BIOS file is and select that. And then you'll get to, this is kind of like the main console screen. I recommend going to Configuration, Video, and go into plugin setting and this is where you will select what uh, renderer you'll use to render the video if you have a newer video card it most likely supports DirectX 11 and so I would go with the uh, Direct 3D 11 hardware uh, one you can also drop it down to do uh, 9 if you have a little bit older card and then so the default resolution on the PS2 was closer to 480p and so basically I suggest if you can do 1080p on your computer if it's powerful enough I'm running uh, an i5 uh, 8, 12 gig, 16 gig sorry, of RAM and a GeForce 960 or 970 so um, it can handle 1080p just fine, so I would do the closest multiple that gets it to 1080p or just a little bit higher. So that in this case is three times the native. I uh, leave the texture filtering at the bilinear, uh, the PS2 version. Uh, I've bumped up the um, antisotropic filtering to 16x and leave everything else uh, default. So you can go in and set up your controller and change your inputs. And then under CD-DVD, um, if you're running a ROM, a ROM or ISO, you can just do browse, uh, go to the folder, select your ISO, and it'll kind of keep it uh, in loaded state. And then do uh, system uh, boot CD full. And that will get you started. I have a save state in here, so I'm going to pull that up real quick. So there we are. We are in uh, Gran Turismo 4. Just a quick uh, gameplay for you guys so you can see uh, how it runs. And it's locked in probably close to 60 frames a second. 
uh, sound uh, works pretty well. And uh, runs really smooth so far that I've uh, tested. You know, I'll get ready here in a second. This is the uh, Nurburgring with a Ford Mustang. And we're off. I don't have my gamepad hooked up right now, so I'm running on the keyboard. No. Not quite as nice of an experience. So as you can see, it's running pretty much right at 60 frames a second. Ooh. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, it runs nicely. So, uh, runs pretty well, uh, sound is nice and pretty crisp. Uh, another thing you may want to check also under video settings is the window settings. Under GS window, it is set your um, window size to uh, 4x3, I believe, because the native PS2 did not do 16 by 9 I don't think I think it just uh, did the black bars and cropped it on a TV but I could be wrong on that but when I set it to 169 and chose a higher resolution everything looks stretched out and didn't look correctly so I set it back to 4 to 4 3 so yeah it's um, pretty easy to set up and runs pretty well on modest hardware I obviously don't have nearly the most powerful computer out there um, but it runs nice and um, smooth so far. I'll test on a couple other games, but I figure Gran Turismo is one of my favorites on PS2. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and uh, was easy to follow for you guys. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.